Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. Danny here. I've got another Final Cut Pro 10 video for you today. So in this video I'm going to show you how to add a freeze frame. Now why would you want to add a freeze frame to your videos? Well, if you do review videos or tutorials and you make a mistake in your video, your footage, you're perhaps not clear on something or you say something wrong, when it comes to editing it you might realise or you might pick up on this and you might realise you want to correct yourself. And a good way to correct yourself is to freeze the footage, then do a little voiceover explaining yourself better or correcting yourself, or even just freeze the footage and add some text there which will explain things better or, or perhaps correct yourself. So let's get straight into this and I'll show you how to do it. Now as you can see I've got the footage in the timeline and what I need to do is basically select the footage, then select in the timeline where I want the freeze frame to begin. So we'll choose this spot here. Then I want to hold down the shift key and press H at the same time and it will add the freeze frame. As you can see this red spot is where the freeze frame begins and, begins and ends and the green spot is basically just where the video plays normally. Now if I want to make this freeze frame a longer, longer period of time, I can just pull it and it will make it longer. If I want to make it shorter, I can just pull it the other way. So as you can see I'll leave it, leave it quite long like that. And what I can do now is I'll play the footage for you as normal and you'll hear me talking then it'll freeze for a while. If you know what Dropbox is it basically allows you to sync files up to the cloud. Um, so like and as you can see the footage carried on playing there once it had finished freezing. So really handy there so now in this, this position I could um, add a bit some text on screen or even put another voice over in whatever I want. So really handy um, for correcting yourself, anything like that. There's probably other scenarios you'd want to use a freeze frame but this is why I would want to use one and why I think it's useful so I thought I'd share it with you. It's a handy tip to know. So thanks for watching that video, hopefully you liked it. If you did then please like and subscribe because it helps me a lot and it's much appreciated. Also if you wish you can follow me at twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. So thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you later. Goodbye.